Let's head over to the Indian peafowls. I've been told that we need to improve their social welfare. Alright, welcome back everyone to episode 3 of Planet Zoo. We're doing the last stage today, the gold stage. Uh, and let's finish this thing. Oh god, look at the ostrich running. <laughs> now then, just find one of the peafowls and select them to open an information panel. Then we can have a good gander at how they're doing. Although technically, I suppose gandering would just be for geese. Wait, this is a habitat. That's really cool. <laughs> um. Hello, little guy. How are you? Ah, uh, now they've clearly got plenty of space, and they're not stressed. But it looks like their social group isn't quite right. So let's find out more. Click on the social tab at the top of their information panel to see what's wrong. Adult population. Right, as you can see, the peafowls need their population to be larger. To solve this little problem, you'll need to adopt three more female peafowls. Well, off you pop to the animal market. Ah, yeah, okay, shell. <laughs> Okay. And uh, let's buy you guys. You are super cheap pieces. And uh, let's place you. These visitors are like speaking the Sims language. Good work on those peafowls. I Thank expect you. they'll be delivered soon. But sadly, it sounds like our snow leopard is a bit grumpy. Let's head over there and see what's wrong with her. She's grumpy. Stop being grumpy. Just like people, animals can suffer from stress if things aren't quite right. You know, like when you see someone put in the milk before the tea bag. In the case of these snow leopards, they're a bit stressed by their lack of privacy. You can lower their stress levels by swapping out the normal glass barriers for one-way glass. It's not a cheap option, but I think they're worth the expense, don't you? This will give the snow leopards somewhere to go when they want to get away from the prying eyes of the guests. Is that a shelter into... Oh. Cool. Of course, when an animal isn't in its natural biome, it's probably going to be too hot or too cold. Unsurprisingly for the snow leopards, it's, it's too hot, even with the terrible British weather. You should help cool it down by adding some coolers to their habitat. But let's start by opening up the temperature heat map and having a look-see at the temperature in the leopard's habitat. Where do I do that? Is the question. Oh! As you can see, we already have one cooler in there. Let's pop some more down and get as much of the habitat as chilly as we can. Luckily for us, this habitat already has power, but you'll need to make sure of that in the future. Just so you know, if any part of a habitat is powered, then the whole habitat will be powered. All right. Um, three corners. Do I put those in the habitat? Or like... Yeah, okay, I put it in the habitat. So let's put one here. And let's put one here. And then let's put one You can find heat maps for all sorts of helpful things, so do be sure to explore them and make good use of them. It'll take a little while for the temperature to adjust once you've added coolers or heaters, but now we've got the coolers in, we can address the leopard's terrain welfare. You see, what the leopards really want in here is snow and rock, so let's make that happen. Alright. Snow. Oh, 
Come well, then. Okay. All of that should give you a pretty good understanding of how to make animals happy. So I'd like you to go and check on all the other animals in the zoo and fix up any issues with their habitats. That'll increase the average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo. And that average welfare is a very important statistic. Now, to quickly see how all your animals are doing in the zoo, you should go into zoo management and then into the animals section. As you can see, this list shows you the animal's overall welfare. So, if something's amiss, then you can quickly pop over to them using the locate button. Right, I'm off for a cuppa while you make sure all the animals are well looked after. Okay, what does that mean? That's a question. Severely dehydrated? That's not good. Welfare. Okay, the welfare on this one is really low. Maybe that's why it's red. Alright. Oh, is that why she's on lockdown? Is there a protest going on? Oh, here. Ah, brew? Okay. Unbox you. What's wrong with you? Enrichment zero. That's C. Species Timberwolf. Um, let's see, what do you got? You got a shelter. Let's give you a dog ball. Which meant and bedding you have. You can have a a shoe toy too. Over here. There we go. Oh wait, there's less of that. More soil. So snow. What are you saying, you two? Huh? All right. This should be good now. Let's go to the lemur. Okay, so this means that they're in a box, probably because they're not feeling good. But I'll post this through again. Fella moop. Fella moopy. <laughs> okay, let's unbox you. What do you need help with? Enrichment, food enrichment. Um, ring tail lemur. Forage box enrichment. Does this fit? Okay, here. What more can I do for you? Oh, that was it. Okay. Cool. Well. There. Jesus, why are so many of you unhappy? What's happening? Huh? It's because you don't have shelter? Shelter? Two here. Hello, sound? Okay. 
I'm back, Sol, y'all. Why are you sad? Why are you buffed? You're not happy with the habitat. One animal has escaped! Why? How? You're not... You didn't escape! How did you escape? What? Okay then. Um, what did I need to get all of them in? All species over welfare to 8%. It's 78, so I'm almost there. Let's see, we can fix some for the lions, it looks like, maybe? What can we do for you guys? Oh, you don't have any food enrichment. Let's take care of that. Um, West African lion. That's what I need. You one of those, those are pretty good, and a scratching pole. That's nice. Habitat plants, you don't have any plants. Wait, what do you need? Do you need Africa and grassland? Plants. Westland, and then we need Africa. Can't you have one of those big ass trees, huh? That would be cool. Yeah? Is that any good? Apparently not. Is the coverage too high? Is that what you're trying to say? What if I delete these brackets? And whatever you are, you should like those. Let me delete that again. Because I don't know if that was a good thing. It's the plant still. It's too much coverage. Even less? What about now? Okay. Now oh, it's good. Nice. Why are there seven animals? Low welfare. Habitat. Cleanliness. How do I clean the habitat? Um, game, terrain, environment, okay, he's cleaning it now. Okay, okay, now it's fine. It's 79. Um, who else can we crease? The zebras. What can I do for you, Mr. Zebra? Enrichment, toy, and food. We need enrichment, and we need a plate zebra. It's a small barrier feeder. Ooh! 
I think it's fair to say that you've passed the first part of your training. Hell yeah. Flying, fellas. There's still lots more to learn, but we'll have to head to another one of Bernie's zoos for that. If you want to grab your passport, we'll head off, shall we? All right, so that was the first scenario in Planet Zoo. Um, and mm. from my... Sounds like you've got the whole zoo purring away nicely. Well, purring, grunting, screaming, booming, <laughs> all the uh, appropriate noises. I guess I was right to hire you, huh? <laughs> Don't tell her I told you, but Nancy wasn't sure you'd even last the morning. <laughs> so, we're happy this is working out. And Nancy owes me a foxy coffee. <laughs> As strange as it seems, considering we just met, when I look at you, I feel like you're the child I never had. After the one I did have, obviously. But you see, zookeeping's not for my daughter. Don't get me wrong. Emma absolutely loves animals, but she set her sights somewhat higher. Mm hmm. Wants to save the entire planet. I'll just settle for saving a couple of species. Oh, and maybe having a type of frog named after me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> as I was saying, it, from my understanding, this is the only career scenario you can do in the beta. But then there's also the franchise scenario, which I'm gonna be trying out. And I think I'll do that mostly in streams, but those streams will be saved on my YouTube. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and got some insight on the game. This will be it for this video. Bye!